Hello, I'm Robert Pugh for the Photographer Academy. And I'm a wedding and portrait photographer and I also throw a bit of street into there as well. So I just want to talk to you about the Voigtlander lenses and why I use them as a wedding photographer and why I use them with the Olympus range of cameras as well. Now, Voigtlander do a massive range of lenses and they're doing for all makes and models. You can buy them in different mounts. Now the thing with Voigtlander lenses is they're a total manual lens. They sink all their research and money into the glass so you know you're getting the best optics possible. And especially for micro four thirds. With micro four thirds we're limited to that smaller sensor and the majority of the lens from other manufacturers go down to sort of f2.8 down to maybe uh, f1.8 uh, but that's where it kind of stops until you go to the Voigtlander lenses and they go down to an awesome 0.95 so we get this lovely creamy bokeh from the background as a wedding photographer that's what I want when it comes to my portraits I want to shoot at the lowest apertures I can possibly do so one thing uh, to mention about these videographers now they would love this uh, lens especially with the aperture ring so in its normal position it we can hear the click going every time we move the aperture and for a normal photographer you know that that's brilliant but when you're doing video and you pull your focus in and out you want a really smooth motion and Voigtlander's really thought about this where there's a little ring here and if we pull it out turn it around it then turns it into a clickless aperture ring so we've got that silent motion we can pull the focus in and out and for recording videos that's an awesome thing to do so here we've got the uh, two lenses that I use the most and believe it or not I would actually cover a whole wedding just using these two lenses and in fact I did just the weekend gone and looking at the comparisons so these are the Olympus lenses we've got here the um, 17 mil which is the equivalent of the 35 mil and we've got the 45 mil which is equivalent of an 85 mil and those are kind of the two lenses as a, a wedding photographer or even a portrait photographer would probably use the most now I, i'm definitely a prime man myself i don't really use the the zoom types uh, of lenses so one thing to note that these are prime lenses from uh, voigtlander we have the 42.5 so it's dead on an 85 mil and we've got the 17.5 now looking at these these are the direct comparison so if i was to bring this to here and i was to bring that to there those two are your 45 millimeters and these are your 17 millimeters so in 35 millimeter format you've got your 85 and you've got your 35 so I thought we'd do a little comparison on the Olympus 45mm and the, the Voigtlander 42.5mm. Uh, In the studio scenario we're not going to see that much of a difference but I still want to do a comparison so we can uh, see what they look like. Then we'll move over to some, some natural light shots uh, so we can really do those low apertures and see what we can get from it. Uh, we will also try the um, 17 and the 17.5 mil as well. Not a lens I would normally use for a headshot, but it'll be good to see that comparison as well. So the first up will be the Olympus uh, 17 mil, and I'll just get the camera and we'll just do a, a little shot from this. So we're at f11 uh, as our aperture, uh, 250th of a second, and ISO 200. Now that isn't going to change, it is purely the lens that's going to change. Okay, so... Perfect, like that. Okay, so that's uh, the first shot done. You've just seen that come up. Uh, I'm going to swap lenses now. Now remember, it's a manual lens, so we're going to have to slow things down. We're going to have to make sure that we've got everything in focus. Um, and we've got peaking turned on. So what I normally do, there's a button that's just here at the bottom of the camera. It's a function button. I set that to my peaking. So it's my highlighter. So anything that's got a white haze around it will be in focus. And I like to turn it on and off from there. I also have a function button on the top that's set to a, a zoom. 
So I can zoom into the eye and I can actually focus on the eye. It's probably the best way to use it when you're using these lenses in a studio scenario. So again, I'll just explain to the model. I'm just going to take my time with this, doing my focus. So, okay, perfect. You can see there is a, a slight difference in the texture with the, the Voigtlander lens. You can see it on the skin tones. I just think it gives a little bit more of a pleasing skin tones. And you might not have uh, considered that from using a lens, but it does make a difference. The, the colours, uh, there's a slight difference in uh, the colours. And again, because we've changed lens, um, it also affects the white balance as well because every lens is manufactured slightly different. Um, and I prefer the shot from the Voigtlander lens, especially for portraits. It's giving a really sort of glow to the skin, uh, nice smooth uh, lines coming off the skin, and it's picking up all the details as well as doing the hair and the dress. So what we will do, we'll do a shot now and we will use um, the 35 mil. So that's gonna be the 17 mil Olympus and then the 17.5 Voigtlander. So I'm just going to change over. And we'll go with the Olympus lens first. So this is the Olympus uh, 17 mil. Um, it's uh, set, uh, all the settings are exactly the same, nothing's changed, it's just the lens. Now this is going to be a quite a wide shot, uh, we're going in quite close. So again, we've got quite a, a nice wide shot coming in. Uh, let's just have a look at the focus on this one. And again, it's a, an auto focus. Um, everything's uh, right on the money there. We can see it's all in focus. So we'll turn that off and we're gonna change now to the Voigtlander lens. So this is the 17.5 Voigtlander lens, equivalent of a 35 mil. So on Olympus uh, lenses, you do the aperture on the camera, but with the Voigtlander lenses, that function is disabled on the camera and you actually use the aperture ring. So you can see the ring here, uh, and we move that around to F11, so it's on F11 there. So that's all set up. So again, I'm just gonna um, sort my focus out first, and then I'm gonna take the shot. Let's just have a look, have I got the focus right? Nailed the focus, we're absolutely spot on there. And the comparison, so the detail is phenomenal on both uh, the lenses. And again, for a, a studio scenario, you aren't going to see that much difference. Um, so what I think we will do is we're gonna head over to the window and we'll do some natural light shots We'll shoot at um, as low apertures as these can go. So that'll be f1.8 on the Olympus lens, and we'll go to 0.95 on the uh, Voigtlander lens. So I will see you over at the window. Now, because I want to work at the lowest um, apertures, I've metered this, and it's um, at f1.8. I'm on a thousandth of a second, and I will have to. Uh, re-meter it when I do the Voigtlander because I'm going to take the aperture all the way to 0.95. Uh, so just if you see me playing with the meter, you understand what I'm doing with it. Um, and I'm, I'm being kind, I thought it's better to work in manual mode, so it gives a, a much better comparison of the two lenses, where if I was in aperture priority, then the camera is doing different shutter speeds all the time. So we want to keep it as close as we can. So to start off with, I am using the uh, Olympus uh, 45mm and I'm shooting at f1.8 um, and I'm just going to go over to here and do two shots. Okay, so, perfect, just there like that. And we're going to go to just there like that. Perfect, okay, so um, those two shots are done. I'm just going to change my lens now. I'm just going to highlight that shot so I know that's the one that we're on. Uh, and again, this is the Olympus lens. We can check the focus, all in green. This is what's uh, in focus. And that's at uh, 1.8. So I will change the lens to the Voigtlander. Let's just brighten it up. 
ever so slightly. So again, I'm just going to tell them I'm just going to take my time because I'm manual focusing on this as well. So let's see where we get. And I always like to just zoom in to the eye when I'm manual focusing. Perfect. And I'm going to just take this shot just like that perfect look. In fact, let's do the portrait one first. It's nice. And then let's just do the landscape one. Just like that. Cool. So, and just for just for your own information, when I went to 0 0.95, I, I had to go to uh, four thousandth of a second um, on that lens. So quite a big difference from um, the two lenses. The, the shutter speed, the Olympus, I was at a thousandth at uh, f1.8, and with the Voigtlander, uh, 0.95 I was at four thousandth of a second, and uh, the ISO was at 200, its base ISO. So again, let's uh, just have a look at these. So you've got a, a direct comparison of the uh, Voigtlander to Olympus lenses. I do feel that your, the Voigtlander lenses do bring more fun to photography. Uh, you go back to the basics where you're manually focusing all the time. So automatically you slow down. You think about the shoot, you think about the light coming in and it can actually make you a better photographer just to slow you down that little bit more. I love the Voigtlander lenses and for wedding photography, you can get that really dreamy sort of out of focus feel to the background. So I hope that's helped you out on the Voigtlander comparison lenses and thanks for watching.